Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 7. And it goes like this. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. How often do, do we resist difficult truths? I mean, you know, that kind of truth that just sort of... <laughs> Jeremiah's story uh, presents a powerful lesson about the consequences of ignoring divine guidance. When God spoke through Jeremiah, his uh, words were meant to bring comfort, justice, and to, to call repentance of, you know, for Ju uh, Judah. Despite his sincere effort, the people and their king chose to ignore the warnings. And I know that happens now. Jeremiah faced ridicule and physical harm for delivering God's message. How do we react when we're faced with oppositions for standing up for what's right? Or do we just sort of wilt down? and go with the flow. You know, his perseverance in this face of adversity reminds us that God's truth must be proclaimed even when it's not popular. Yep, it sure does. And we're living in that world right now, aren't we? Jeremiah knew that his message was vital for both his generation and the ones to come leading him to dictate God's words to the scribe, uh, Barcher. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, Barcher. But anyhow, the, uh, however, the, uh, when these words reached the king, he responded by burning the scroll piece by piece. Now, can you believe that? Yeah, the, this act of destruction was more than just a physical burning. It was symbolic of rejection to God's guidance. And you know what? We do that too. You and I, yes, we do. How do you respond to God's guidance when it challenges our comfort uh, or our plans? Yeah, we sort of buck up, don't we? We sure do. Ignoring God's word doesn't eliminate the truth or its consequences. No, we need to stop and think on these areas in your life where you might be resisting God's guidance. I know I have to sit down and have a talk with myself many times. Are there any truths you find difficult to accept or messages you choose to ignore? Hmm? I think if we're all honest, we all got to raise our hand on that. There's some messages that comes forth that, whoo, I mean, it just rubs my feathers wrong. It's the truth, but it still rubs me wrong. You know, we need to really consider how we accept God's word. Even, you know, in challenging positions, they can, they can lead in growth. You know, uh, I'll never forget uh, Mama when she made uh, planted tomatoes and uh, they... Uh, they wasn't growing just right. And she'd get out there and whip them things. And boy, all of a sudden, them things start blooming and putting on tomatoes. And, uh, you know, sometimes we have to be sort of chastened by the Lord so that we can bloom. Even though it hurts. Sometimes that happens. So don't resist it. No, embrace it. Embrace it because it's for your own good. 
Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yeah, he died on that cross for us, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.